Hi there, my name is Tia McGinn. I'm a Shopify coder and problem solver. And I'm here today to walk you through a solution that I've developed to overcome the Shopify options limit of three options and the variance limit of 100 variants using Shopify meta fields, so no app required. We're here today looking at one of my client's websites. Wend Jewelry is a beautiful, handmade, nature-inspired jewelry company in Seattle, Washington. And she came to me with an issue that she had, you know, her metal colors for rings, the band width, many of her rings have gemstones, there's the gemstone size, there's also the ring size, there's just so many different options for these rings. She was using an app, a product options app, and a variant image app to sort of help group things together, but just found the overall system very cumbersome and slow to load. Um, and the apps can be expensive on a monthly basis as well. So we developed a custom solution using product meta fields. Some of the things that I really like about this, this solution um, are that we actually are linking several different products together with these swatches. So here we're looking at a Tide Pools yellow gold ring. Uh, it's got a thin band. It has a Montana sapphire gemstone. If I click on red gold, it actually takes me to the exact same band, same Montana sapphire gemstone, same band width, but now it's in red gold. It's actually, these swatches take us to entirely different products. Um, likewise, now, if I am to click on the wide width band, it keeps the red gold the same, it keeps the gemstone the same, but now it takes us to the product that has those exact same settings, but in a wide width band. So we sort of have the look and feel here of variants, but actually what we're doing is li linking different products together. This has the advantage of making it really easy to group images together. There's no confusion here as I'm clicking through images about exactly which variant these images are for. When we have a lot of variants for one product, all of those variant images, thumbnails appear, and it can become quite disorienting for the customer to understand which variant it is that they're looking for. By creating different products for each of these, it's really obvious. We're just seeing the, pro the images for the product that we're looking at. The other advantage of doing it this way is that our collection pages are nice and full. So for the Tide Pools ring collection, as I'm scrolling through, I see all of the different bandwidths, I see all of the metal colors, I also see all of the different gemstones available, so that it's really clear to me that there's a wide variety available to suit my tastes. So we sort of have the best of both worlds here. We have each product listing as an individual product, so our collection pages are full, each ring can be retargeted directly on social media, and yet we are, it's also very clear when we're looking at a ring that it's available in more options than what we see just in these images. So this is all accomplished uh, with a few different things. Uh, first of all, we have a Tide Pools collection that groups all of the different products and their options together. You see there's a lot of products in here. Um, and then we have some meta fields configured. So this is the Tide Pools a yellow gold thin ring with Montana sapphire and we can see that its only option is actually gemstone size um, and then the equivalent sizes. Now Wendy could also put in the ring size as a variant. She's choosing to use an options app for that currently but um, we could have that be a variant as well. And then we've got some meta fields that I created here. So we've got the bandwidth, the gemstone, the collection that it fits into, and then the metal color for the, this particular product. I've set up a lot of these meta fields as lists so that we don't have to worry about um, whether to type thin with a capital T or a lowercase t, or whether to type extra wide with a dash or with a space. The, using these drop down lists for meta fields helps to ensure consistency in the data entry. Same thing with the gemstones as well as with the metal color. So that's how the product configuration looks um, for this particular product. And of course, as we move through the different products, just the meta field settings change. And then we have some custom code within her theme. This code would be unique for every implementation of this, but in her particular example, we create um, 
product settings and product arrays for the different meta fields like color, bandwidth, gemstones. We loop through the products in the collection and we make sure that the product that we found in the loop matches the collection of the product that's currently being displayed. And then we find the width of the product um, that we've looped through. We find the color of it and make sure that that matches or is different. We find the width and so on. We load all of this information into arrays along with the product URL. And then later on in the code, we loop through those arrays and basically display the product URLs that match as these swatches that we see on the product page. So if this is something that interests you or you'd like some more information about or some guidance on, feel free to contact me. I'm happy to walk you through the implementation of it um, and give you some ideas and direction as for how to make the code work. Have a great day.